So we've been using these baited camera traps for survey work on shark abundance and diversity in the Maldives. Although it's similar to fishing surveys, we capture the sharks on camera instead of using a hook. This minimizes risk to the sharks, but also shows us what else is around that doesn't take the bait. With these traps, we've so far managed to collect over 140 hours of footage and hope to collect more as time goes on. The most abundant shark we've recorded is the grey reef shark. Many of the sharks we encountered were only in passing, whereas the grey reef sharks often showed a keen interest in the bait, sometimes hanging around for up to an hour. Although not seen in great numbers, the shark species we found most regularly was the white tip reef shark. It's great to see them so frequently, as now we only see them occasionally at our main study area in the Red Sea. The third most abundant shark species on the camera traps was the black tip reef shark, but these guys were only ever seen in passing and tended to move over the reef quite quickly. We also had a nurse shark swim by, but it didn't seem that interested in the bait at all. We found another shark that looks quite similar to the nurse shark, the zebra shark, or leopard shark as it's also known. It's called a zebra shark as the juveniles actually have very distinct vertical black and white stripes, but these fade to the yellow and black spotted pattern that you can see here, hence why it's also sometimes called a leopard shark. But like the nurse shark, these guys are also suction feeders with grinding plates, explaining why he's having a bit of difficulty with the bait here. One of the species we had been dearly hoping to find and track using satellite tags was the elusive tiger shark. Yet we were fortunate enough to find several, including this individual that took a liking to the camera trap. There used to be a fishery in the Maldives specifically targeting tiger sharks, but now with the fishing and export of sharks banned in the Maldives, it is hoped their populations, along with others, will begin to recover. This tiger shark on the camera trap also helps to demonstrate another advantage of using this method, removing the influence of observers in the water. During many dives in this area, we didn't see a single one. We hope to continue this survey work to gain a better idea of the abundance and diversity of sharks in the Maldives, and in doing so, inform management decisions to help ensure their stocks remain as sustainable as possible. If you've seen a shark in the Maldives, please visit our Maldives Shark Watch group on Facebook for more information on how you can help.